Hello everyone, today I'm showing you how to reset the dragon fight so you can get multiple eggs in much XP without cheating. Ooh, yes. So we are on version 1.4.7. This is literally the only way to defeat the Ender Dragon fight in the history of Minecraft. Um multiple times unless if we haven't discovered anything yet or at least this is the easiest way to defeat the ender dragon it can kind of work in modern minecraft but in order to do it in modern minecraft you just delete delete the end You can't really do it without cheating in 1.9 or whatever. But there are some things with old school Minecraft that will never be understood. Unless if I explain them. I did that 100% survive. Not kidding. It was a debug thing, okay. So the first thing is go to the end in any way, shape, or form. So see how I'm on the zero axis? We want to go to zero, zero. I think what we need to... Oh, I need an axe. Um, that could be a problem. So you want to save and quit. Go back. And then break it. Okay, I'm rusty. I'm I'm rusty, guys. Oh, there we go. We did it. Uh. Yep. See, we did it. Yay. Now if we enter, see, the chunk reset. But what just happened there? What just happened? Why is the Ender Dragon back? Uh, and why do I still have a stack of jukeboxes? Yeah, back then you could defeat the Ender Dragon without getting damaged on peace. I do want to do something different this time with these bed things. Oh, okay. I wonder if it Wow, man, this, this guy is strong. I have blast protection. That was the best I could do that one. What else do I, did I bring? I did bring cool junk <laughs> oh boy whoa that time was close So here's when we want to make sure the Ender Dragon dies in a specific spot. We need to ask ourselves where do we want the dragon to die. So let's just say if I want him to die here, this is a demonstration.
And we did it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I mean, that's a cool spot. And a lot of people use pistons to move the dragon eggs. But that's kind of for noobs, honestly. What you do is literally as simple as this. And guess what? If you don't have any torches, you have torches right there that you can just grab one and fail. Wait, is this zero zero? Um, this this portal might get hmm, deleted. I'm afraid. Let's do that just one more time. I'll show you. But yeah, you guys saw how it worked once. Yep, see? Yep. And I don't think that obsidian pillar has been there before. But literally as simple as that. Now you gotta just defeat the Ender Dragon one more time. So I'm just going to kill the dragon a bunch of time. times. I just wanted to do it once. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a sixth one somewhere around here. I think that's six. So I killed six Ender Dragons. Zero, zero is right here. Okay. I'm wondering if I missed any. I actually kind of used one of these. Sorry about that. But just to just to have fun really and just because I've never really Ooh. oh oh yeah these can one shot the Ender Dragon which in modern Minecraft this would convert to a power level um 255 yeah I know it converts doesn't that suck? Yes, it does. There is one good example of this. I'm not really doing this in my own world because I don't really have any brain that I want to start it. But yeah, you could technically delete some chunks of the terrain using the jukebox. But now we are back in my ward. Just crazy junk. Um, there was no way to break this in survival. Or, I mean, if you, I mean, you can break, um, stuff. Like, how you break bedrock is how you get it. I guess seven will do. Now this will need to lock up. We'll need to lock this up because I don't want to use this. Even if it's in Morsi, I don't want to use it. So where is a good place to lock it up and like have a vault? vault? I'm just going to do classic. Bow will go in there. Hey, might as well have some arrows. No one will notice, right? No one, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to get that just a bit away from me. 
Yeah, I have two stacks of juke boxes because I had no clue how many I wanted. So in 1.1 1 .1 also, I did a bunch of duping. Or like 1.2. 1.1 .1 is a terrible example because we've got the but Okay, so the rest of the video is going to be about Waddle in the Nuzzle. Getting Waddle in the Nuzzle, you might wonder how we're going to do this. There are actually a lot of ways to get Waddle in the Nuzzle. And of course, sorry about the Nuzzle portal, I think you all know. So this is the old ward. Okay, push that button and go this way. Warm the nether now. Anyway, warm in the nether and so there are multiple ways to get water in the nether. But I feel like right here... I don't know, but like I feel like this area might be a good spot to just have some water in. Okay, that's all I'm doing for now. So I'm going to go southwest because I think I remember very early on a lot. Early on, I found a nether fortress a very long time ago. And I think it's that way. I'm not sure. But and don't worry, we're not done with the um, water blocks or anything like that. As you can see, this one can't stack with the other. Now we're in new terrain. Um, this is a different seed than my previous ward. But I just want to test my luck and go this way. Okay, at first I was going to um question why I didn't get the achievement. Or whatnot. I was going to question that, but then I realized that the achievements work differently. Like, look, I have to get, I have to get them in order, in order for them to work. So it's just terrible. I don't remember skeletons being able to spawn this early in the game. I, I knew they were able to spawn in the nether, but like, not in this version. Oh my goodness, this version is so dark. That's my brightness. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I found it. Aha, see you guys? See, I told you this would be fun. I only want a few blaze rods. I came here just to get blaze rods.
put the thumbnail. I'm back in my main base. I think that's going to do it for this episode, or at least mostly for this episode. Um. Yeah, um, I just wanted to show you the instead of rain, the underground area. How mobs will spawn like crazy. I know it's really insane. Like, if it's dark somewhere, they will spawn. I'm probably going to get creeper bombed any second. So, yeah, this is this block is only possible to break in creative. I might one day break it in creative, I might decide to, I might decide not. There's no choice and stuff. But yeah, um, I want to keep this episode a little bit shorter than the last one. I know that the water in the nether I didn't really show much of. But yeah, I did do some more editing of the ward. You know what, let's see what happens. Come on, come on, yo. And this, guys, is why mob briefing on off. Like, look at how. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Yeah, no wonder why I play this on Peaceful. Most of the time, but. Yeah, see, guys? Ink dev. And also, I have a museum here, so I have to have my briefing tone. But anyway, yeah. Oh, and also, this was from Beta. Um, the stack that no pause. So yeah, next time we'll finish. Um, we'll basically get ready for the wall download. I'll we'll do a few things to get ready for the wall download. Um, my ward already. I added some instev terrain and stuff to this ward. Well, actually, I didn't really add more instead terrain, but I simply just added more of my survival ward. Audio one. So yeah, that. Take care, I guess, and have a good day.